Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the absolute secret to growing exponentially in the shortest amount of time. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're breaking down a passage from Ed Milet's The Power of One More, and I'm gonna read through it, and we're gonna come back, and we're really gonna open this up because I titled this Why You Should Give It One More Go. Now, it reads, when you push yourself and empty everything you have inside of you to the point of having nothing left, that's when everything will be created. When you empty yourself, you create room for new experiences, goals, and efforts. Bruce Lee echoed that sentiment when he said, empty your cup so that it may be filled. I'm not talking about driving yourself to physical exhaustion. You should never put yourself in that state. What I'm talking about is always doing one more. When you do this, you're emptying yourself out. When you have nothing more to give, you have reached a state of ex nihilo. Now, let's let's talk about this because first off, I, I love the idea of like when you're at your end, this is where growth actually occurs. If you really want to think about it, when you do everything that you can do, you're technically working within your capacity. There is nothing new occurring. So if you only in the gas tank have enough gas to get 100 miles and you drive your 100 miles, you haven't done anything new. But if you break forward and you do 101 miles, you have now expanded your capacity. So you have grown. Check this out. You can only grow if you go outside of what you're already capable of. And the only way to get there is to consistently go up to the edge of your possibility, your edge of your capability and do more. So from a physical standpoint, from a mental standpoint, from an emotional standpoint, from a financial standpoint, it means how do I give it all I have? Now, let's go back and let's look at this text because it's kind of cool. It says, when you push yourself and empty everything you have inside of you to the point of having nothing left. So you're going to empty everything inside of you. Whoops. You're going to empty everything inside of you to the point of having nothing left. That means from that point, if there's nothing left and then you get more, what have you done? You've actually created. When we talk about, this is going to get a little biblical for some of you. When we talk about Genesis, right? In the beginning of Genesis, in the beginning, you know, it's God is there and there's nothing. And then God starts to speak and he says, you know, let there be light. Let there be this, let there be that. He's creating from nothingness. So he goes to the place of emptiness and then he creates. When you go to the place of emptying everything, Right? There's nothing. And then you come up with more you have now created. This is a part of you that we want to remind you exists because most people are very comfortable creating and manipulating. They're, they're comfortable. I shouldn't say creating. They're comfortable manipulating what already exists. They work with the finite reality that's already in front of them. And we have to remember that the people who change the world, the people who inspire, the people whose names are immortalized are the ones who were able to grab from the invisible and create from seemingly nowhere. When we have new inventions, when we had telecommunication, when we have radio waves and television and all these great gadgets that make today's life absolutely phenomenal. You have to understand that the first time a person thought about that stuff, the first time it came from anywhere, it came out of nothing. It came out of the no thing. And so they had emptied their mind. They had exhausted all they knew. And then they gathered more. They kept pushing. They kept discovering. They kept asking the question. They kept seeking for the answer. So when you empty yourself, you create room for new experiences. Right? So when there's nothing left, you open up space for experiences, for goals, for effort. In fact, Bruce Lee, shout out to Bruce Lee. Look at what he said. He said, empty your cup so that it may be filled. I used to have a mentor who used to talk to people and he would say to them that the problem is I'm trying to teach you something new, but I can't teach you anything because you already know everything. See, the student that knows it all can't be taught anything. In fact, some of the most dangerous words that you can utter are, I know. I know that already. How often do we hear young men say that? I already know that. I know that. I know that. Your kids. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, if you already know, what, what is there for me to teach you? Instead, empty your cup, empty your mind. In fact, as you're listening to me, allow yourself to empty your cup, empty your mind, and so that you can take in something new, so that you can constantly be growing, so that you can be filled. Now, 
he says, I'm not talking about driving yourself just to physical exhaustion. So this, this isn't like a go out and run until you literally cannot move anymore. Because he's saying that you don't want to put yourself in a state of danger. Although even physically, when you are exercising, this is that one extra rep. This is when you have done every push-up that you can do. And then you do an additional push-up on top of that. That's where it matters. In fact, Arnold Schwarzenegger, they once asked, they said, how many reps do you do? And he said, I don't know. I don't start counting until it hurts, until it burns. That's when I begin counting. Now, he says what he's talking about is doing one more. He's, he's saying, hey, even when you're at the end, right? They, the sale didn't go through. Make one more call. No one's lending you the money. Reach out. Send one more email. You didn't get the job. Put out your resume one more time. Every time you feel like you're emptied, every time you feel like there's nowhere else for you to go, give it one more. And when you have nothing more to give, he says you reach this state of ex nihilo, right? So you reach this state of emptying yourself when you have nothing left to give, which is a beautiful place to be because, again, when there is nothing left to give and then you discover more, you have grown. When there's nothing left to give, and for me personally, and I'm going to take it here for a second, when you have nothing left to give, in fact, I like for people to get to the place where it's like, you are like, I cannot do this anymore. Like, I have nothing more. And then you find and you discover more. Typically, from that point, you find God, you find your higher self, you find that next thing. You start to realize how limited your thinking was, but not how limited this universe is, not how limited your creator is. You start to realize how limitless there is how much of a limitless reality you live in. So it's kind of cool. Now, guys, let me know what you think about this because I think this is personally the biggest cheat code to growth. It's uncomfortable, but it's where it actually occurs. Like to me, this is where growth lives. Growth lives at that empty part of the street, right? Like not the extra mile. In fact, David Meltzer taught me this. He said, anybody can go the extra mile every now and then. And he says, in fact, January 1st, you're in the gym, you see everybody going the extra mile, people showing up, they got the new protein shakes, the new shoes, they're in the gym, they got the trainer. He said, but what I like to see is people go the empty mile, which is the people who consistently show up and do the extra mile. Don't downgrade the value of consistency. Not just doing this once, but doing this day after day after day after day. Emptying yourself moment after moment after moment after moment. You start to control these minutes and your minutes will set your hours and your hours will set your days and your days will set your weeks and your weeks will set your months and your months will set your years and your years will set your life. However, it requires you to be consistently showing up and doing that one more, giving that one more, pushing just a little bit harder. And this is not to say you don't rest. Please get your rest. Please get your sleep. Just push. Give it one more. Empty yourself. Empty the gas tank because that energy that you think you're saving today, it's not there for you tomorrow. It's not it's not like you're storing it up and at the end of the week, you know, you didn't do all the stuff and but on Sunday, you've got the superhuman strength. Like no, these the energy doesn't roll over. Right? Like the potential for your growth does not roll over. If you don't use it, you lose it. So please use it. So let me know in the comments what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you think that you're supposed to essentially spend it all each day, that you're supposed to use it all each day? That's how I personally aim to live my life. And do I do it perfectly? Not by any shot of the imagination. However, do I progressively move towards that? You absolutely bet yourself I do. Every day. Every single day I'm working on emptying myself. Even as I'm filming these videos for y'all right now, it's pretty late in the evening and I would love to start turning this light off and to get to my sleep and to get to bed. However, I want to have sh make sure that these videos are put out for y'all daily. So leave a comment below if you got some value from this. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. We put out videos like this every single day. And let me know, do you agree, do you disagree? And also, what book are you reading? I would love to break down another good book, business book, personal development, spiritual, love it all. So guys, I'll see you on the next video. In the meanwhile, stay blessed by the best. <laughs> all right, talk to you later.